Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk a bit, a uh, little bit about the upcoming release of the expansion uh, for Age of Mythology, which is uh, Tale of the Dragon. The new expansion will not only bring a new civilization, uh, which I will talk about later, but it will also bring a whole lot of uh, balance changes. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, you can uh, read them all online. Um, I will <coughs> likely put also put links to those uh, articles I'm uh, talking about in the video description box. And yeah, right now I'm just going briefly over um, what we know so far and summarizing this a little bit. So, um, well, we will get a lot of balance changes and we will also get new graphics. So, um, not entirely new graphics, but better textures in general and um, yeah, lighter, happier textures in the game. So, uh, yeah, what is um, besides all that I've talked about so far, there will also be a new civilization uh, that is the Chinese. Um, and yeah, well, what do we know about the Chinese so far? Well, I'd start with regular units. They'll have a war academy where they can train two units, the Halberdier and the Chokunyu. Uh, the Chokunyu you already know from Age of Empires 2 and the Halberdier as well and it's likely that they will um, have a similar purpose in Age of Mythology as they do in Age of Empires 2. So War Academy is basically the infantry archer uh, building so everything that's not on a horse and from the stable they can produce the scout cavalry which is yeah, pretty much what it says is a scout um, isn't really strong but isn't really expensive as well and um, yeah basically it's your starting scouting units um, which you can train at the stable if you want more of those and we got the cataphract um, which is, um, yeah, well, basically a heavily armored uh, cavalry melee soldier. And the third unit you will be able to train in the stable as the Chinese is the mounted archer. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the, the first true cavalry archer, mortal cavalry archer we got in the game. So they should definitely be a good unit for raiding and such. And um, yeah, there are two more things that have been revealed um, a, for the Chinese. And well, Age of Mythology is, as the name already says, all about mythology, mythological unit, mythical unit, sorry, um, gods, godly powers, and here. We got two minor gods revealed. Um, as you might already know, if you played the original game, each faction has three major gods and nine um, minor gods. And each major god has a selection of um, six minor gods, so every major god has a different uh, selection of abilities, uh, units, and powers to play with. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll start with uh, Huang Di, and his uh, mythical unit will be the Terracotta Warrior, probably the most iconic um, Chinese mythological unit I could think of apart from the dragons, uh, which will be most likely um, available in the last age, I think. Um, yeah, well, the Terracotta Warriors, um, they return part of the cost when they die, and also yeah, well, expel lethal dust, so little area of effect damage when um, they get killed. Returning parts of the cost should make them really cost efficient. But I don't know if they also return the favor. And another thing we don't know yet about the Chinese is um, we don't know how they gather favor, as every civilization had a unique um, way to uh, to yeah, to get favor from from the gods. Um, the god power of uh, Huang Di will be Call to Arms, which is um, basically multiplying some. Uh, when you target uh, your army, you will 
uh, multiply your army. So, um, and this is if you're targeting a mixed army, you either get a lot of cheap human units or a few more expensive myth units, um, depending on what your army consists of. And as every other god as well, Guangdi will receive three unique texts. The third, first one is Oracle Bone Script, uh, yeah, makes War Academy units cheaper and train faster, five grains. Uh, makes your farms cheaper um, and stone armor will uh, let your terracotta warriors deal more damage when they die. So this is all about the first um, minor god that has been revealed, Huang Di, and talking about the second one, Sun Wukong, also called the Monkey King, and uh, yeah, his mythological mythical 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 unit is uh, the monkey king um, which um, stuns his uh, enemy units with his attacks um, yeah his god power is a great journey it increases the movement speed of your units uh, temporarily this could be used to get out of a uh, situation when you see you will be losing a battle as the opponent uses a meteor, uh, meteor strike or something um, you can get out of battle fast but you can also use this for a surprise attack so um, get to the enemy villages and kill them off before he can even react um, and the technologies uh, Sun Wukong will receive are the Golden Bandit Staff uh, yeah, it's increasing damage of his Monkey King, so we have of his Myth Unit. Pull of the Ocean, um, yeah, that makes fishing ships, junks, and docks stronger. And Paper Talisman favors the Halberdiers, so the um, melee unit from the War Academy by making them stronger. So, this is all um, there is in information for now. Um, the release is the 28th of January and um, I will definitely play a few matches and upload a few matches of uh, the new um, civilization. Maybe there will be a new campaign I'll be playing this and uh, the new North scenario will definitely be trying out. So stay tuned for more Age of Mythology content. This was Alkalim, thanks for watching and see you next time.